Chair, thanks, gentlemen, and recognize Mr. Minix for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I want to thank uh, especially uh, Congressman Dingell and uh, Congressman uh, Pallone for their uh, leadership um, on this uh, issue. Uh, my organization represents um, not-for-profit aging services sector. They've been in your communities on average um, for 75 years. Uh, they're um, the, the Jewish and Catholic and Lutheran and Masonic and labor-sponsored organizations. We joined with a, um, a large coalition. I uh, want to remind everyone there were 270 uh, consumer service um, uh, organizations that supported class. Uh, Senator Dodd said as, uh, as far as he knew that was unprecedented. So we come to the table today with a lot of people that want this program. Why? Because they see the need for, for, uh, for it uh, inside out. Uh, Long-term care is something most families will face and nobody wants to talk about. Uh, we've been discussing risk. Here's where the big risk is. It's the single biggest risk that most American families face today. Uh, just ask those that have been through it and they're not insured um, uh, for it. Uh, so um, um, it's hard to talk about, but uh, who will benefit from class is potentially every American family. Disabling conditions are no respecter of uh, political party, age, socioeconomic status, living venue, background, uh, genetics, what have you. It's the 20-year-old that took um, um, the, the dive at Beach Week and is now a paraplegic. It's the veteran who comes back from the war uh, as a w double amputee. It's the Alzheimer's um, person who moves in uh, with the family. Uh, families um, uh, spend uh, 35 hours a week caregiving and that mostly involves women who also work full-time. They spend on average out of their own pockets $5,500 a year in that job, $9,000 if they're a long-distance caregiver. So Mr. Weiner's uh, situation is, um, is becoming more and more uh, commonplace. Those who are poor uh, or, or have to spend down, we do have Medicaid, and we need to do, need to do all we can do to make sure Medicaid uh, is there for people uh, who need it. For private long-term care insurance, um, I own it, just like uh, Dr. Burgess. Uh, I bought it um, uh, 10 years ago. My wife couldn't get it through um, uh, no fault of her own. Um, my premiums just went up 60%. I can't wait for class to roll out for me and um, uh, my wife. Every um, uh, poll or focus group I've seen about class when you ask real people, Democrat, Republican, especially women say, uh, the time has come for a program uh, like this. Uh, we need a choice not available in the marketplace. What's wrong with giving people a chance to choose something that may help them? Because the options they have today are simply not there uh, for uh, the masses. So when we talk about risk, we better be talking about the risk of real people trying to live out their lives um, uh, every single day. Now. Uh, who will benefit uh, from class consumers? We've talked about uh, the taxpayer. It is a self-contained uh, program. Uh, business will um, um, uh, benefit from it. We've had discussions with the business community. Uh, MetLife study says that uh, it's costing business, caregiving is costing business $17 billion a year. And when I talk to business leaders, many of them say, you know, we know this is happening, but we're really not sure um, uh, uh, about what uh, to do about it. Uh, part of advanced class, uh, which is a group that uh, formed out of these 270 groups, is committed over the next several years to educating the public. This 270 groups touches the lives, has communication with tens of millions of people every year, and one of the things that is um, uh, paramount for all of us to do over the next several years is educate the public because the more people enroll, um, the better uh, the effect on um, Medicaid, uh, it puts money back in families' pockets that are willing to s assume responsibility uh, for caregiving, um, and uh, it will uh, help uh, uh, the taxpayer. Uh, it also will help business, um, because whether we like it or not, the need for caregiving is not going away. Uh, it will increase. Uh, you know the history of class, and we've had um, on both sides of the aisle uh, conversations about this uh, as ad nauseum. Uh, the biggest unknowns about class, uh, the biggest one is that no one can be sure how many people will sign up. Um, I heard Secretary Greenlee say they're going to roll out a plan, and that is the actuarial study we ought to all be looking at. Uh, because the day the plan rolls out and you can say 
here's what it looks like, here are the options, here are the premiums, then we've all got a big education role. The biggest risk is status quo doing nothing. Um, the, the risk of moving forward with class is minimal uh, compared to uh, what we face otherwise. And thank you for your interest um, uh, in this issue.